Luroy's Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough, Part 34. You gotta love the music in the Ice Path. By the way, why do they call it the Ice Path? I mean, it's clearly more than a path. It's like a whole frickin' cave. Um, but anyways, yeah, you gotta go through the Ice Path to get to Mahogany Town, and that's where the 8th Gym is. And the 8th Gym is a Dragon type, which means it's gonna be weak to ice. And guess what? This place is full of Ice-type Pokemon. You can get Swinub, Jinx, and Delibird in here, along with, like, Zubats and stuff. Now, Delibird is an awful Pokemon. I would not recommend it. Jinx is decent. It's a Psychic and Ice. Um, Swinub's the one I'd recommend the most. It will become a Mammoth Swine, which is a Ground and Ice type, which is a very good Pokemon. So if you're willing to train a Pokemon this late in the game, um, that's what you can catch in here. Um, anyways, this place is kind of hard to get through because you got these ice puzzles. You know, the ones where you got to slide around and run into these rocks. Um, it gets harder as you go along, but that one right there isn't too hard to get through. And um, make sure you stop over here to grab this item because you actually need this item in order to beat the game. It's an HM! HM07 Waterfall! Um, it's kind of similar to Surf, only it's a physical attack. So you, if you have like a Feraligator or a Gyarados or something like that, I would recommend giving it Waterfall rather than Surf. And if you already have Surf on this Pokemon, you can actually go to the Move Deleter in the next town, delete Surf, and give it Waterfall instead. Um, so yeah. Or you can just give him Waterfall and Surf, it doesn't really matter. Um, anyways, this guy right here says that he dropped his HM, I guess. Um, but he's gonna let you keep it because he's a nice guy or whatever. And, by the way, there's an Ice Heal right there. Hidden in that rock. I don't know why I remembered that, but whatever. Anyways, let's head down the ladder. This is where you get to the Strength Puzzle. Um, you gotta push all these boulders into the holes. Yeah, by the way, you're gonna need Strength to get through here. And you can also, um, get an extra item with Rock Smash, but Strength is the only one you absolutely need. Um, so make sure you have that with you, and... Um, pretty much, if you screw this puzzle up, you can just go back to the ladder, and they will all magically reset, so... Hopefully we don't have to do that. Hopefully I can get them all in one try. Um, it's kind of confusing because you kind of have to stop and then walk around to the other side a few times. Um, but this one's not too bad to get. And yeah, I pushed that one um, above me just up and I'll come back and finish it off later. But let's see, we'll push this down and in like this. And basically if you go to the ladder underneath this... Um, you can't get through the puzzle until you drop the boulders, because those boulders will be like barriers for you to slide on. Um, that's the way this works. Kind of interesting. Anyways, I think I just went the wrong way with this, so let's push it this way. Um, but yeah, luckily Krabby is just like the greatest HM slave ever, because it can have Rock Smash, Strength, Cut, and um, probably what I'll do is give it Waterfall. I have Surf on it right now, but I will go to the Move Deleter, get rid of Surf, and give it Waterfall. Oh yeah, by the way, if you have a Kingler, that's another Pokemon I'd recommend giving um, Waterfall to instead of Surf. Anyways, let's spray some more Repels. You'll probably want to bring quite a few in here because kind of a long ways to go. Um, anyways, let's finish this one off. And there we go. Um, I guess if you don't have an HM Slave, I mean if you do have an HM Slave, I would recommend giving it Surf or Waterfall. And then if you have your other Water type, you know, just give it... Waterfall if it's a physical attacker, or Surf if it's a special attacker. But if you don't have an HM Slave, um, I guess you can just give them Waterfall and Surf, or just whatever you want to do, I guess. Um, mainly I'm just saying, if you have a Pokemon that's like all-out physical, like for Alligator, Kingler, Gyarados, it's probably a really good idea to give it Waterfall. Um, anyways, let's finish this off here. I think i got to go around this way. And push this in there, and there we go. So... Um, you can go down the ladder, but I think it's funner to drop down the holes. Plus, if you go right here, you can actually get an item pretty easily. So, let's grab this, and it's a max potion, and, um, the sliding portion of this is actually really easy. Um, what's hard is getting back to the beginning. <laughs> Hopefully I can slide back to the ladder. It's funny how, like, the puzzle's not gonna be hard for me, but it's actually kind of hard to get back here. Anyways, you gotta start right here, slide to that boulder, and then you pretty much just go in a square shape like that. Grab a full heal, and then you can head down the ladder. So there you go, it's that easy. I mean, in real life, you could just like, I could just hop on my Crobat and just fly over the ice, but they don't want to make it that easy for me, so whatever. Anyways, you can grab this item if you have Rock Smash, otherwise, um... Actually, wait, do you even need Rock Smash? I don't know. I guess you can, yeah, you can still get it without Rock Smash, so that's just not needed at all, but whatever. I thought you did need it, but I guess not. 
Anyways, now we are um, going to... Oh yeah, there's one item we can grab over here, so this is kind of easy. All you have to do is stand right here, slide down, and slide over, and boom! It's TM-72 Avalanche. And I would recommend um, teaching this to Swinub if you decide to catch that, because it's a good physical attacking ice move. And if you move second in battle, if the opponent's faster, it will do double damage. So pretty nice to have when facing dragon types. Um, now right here, this part is kind of weird. You basically just have to move this strength boulder down, and then you can use it to grab the item. Um, I don't remember what this item is at all, so I guess we'll find out. Um, there we go. Alright, it's an iron, so always nice to grab. It can boost up your defense EVs a bit. And I'm not even going to get into discussing effort values, because that's like that'd take a whole other video to try to teach that to you guys, but... Eh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically in the long run, if you give your Pokemon an iron, its defense will be higher. Um, so now we're back on the main level, and there's a protein right there, essentially the same thing as an iron, only it works for physical attack. And here's one of those Kimono Girls, who we've been seeing frequently throughout the game. Um, actually, I think you need to be behind her, because um, basically her sandals are like frozen to the ice or something, so she needs you to push her. Um, yeah, I have no, like, how do you get yourself in this situation? I mean, just slip out of your sandals or something, like, seriously, but, I don't know, you gotta push her across the ice, and basically, I mean, you see these kimono girls throughout the game, and it's supposed to be like you're helping them out, so later on in the game, you know, um, what goes around comes around, and they will hopefully help you out. I don't know, whatever, but, yeah, she's gone, you won't see her until later on, and this part's kind of tricky, you gotta get on this side to grab this item. Um, and there's a PP up, which is nice, because um, it can boost up the power, the power points of any of your moves. Um, nice for things like the Elite Four. And anyways, that's it. We're out of the cave. It's that easy. Or I guess it's not a cave, it's a path, but whatever. <laughs> so this is Blackthorn City. I think I called it Blackthorn Town earlier. I don't know what I, what I was thinking, but... Anyways, let's just jump right into stuff. There's a house right here, and um, this house is kind of dumb. There's a trade you can do. If you have a Dragonair, you can trade it for a Dodrio. I don't know why you'd want to do this. I mean, if you have a Dragonair, you might as well just keep it and evolve it into a Dragonite, but... Yeah, that's a stupid trade you can do. Um, I think there's also a person that will give you, like, a ribbon in there, but I'm not really worried about that. Anyways, let's take a look at this sign. A quiet mountain retreat. Isn't that peaceful and lovely? Um, anyways, of course, you got the Pokemon Center and the Mart, and this house right here is, like, the main attraction of Blackthorn. There's a bunch of stuff going on in here, so... Basically, these two people at the tables will teach you moves. This guy will teach you a very powerful move um, to your starter Pokemon. Whether it be Typhlosion for Alligator, or in my case, Meganium. It's basically a move that works like Hyper Beam. It's either Fire, Water, or Grass type, and it's super powerful, but then you have to rest for a turn. Um, yeah, the Grass type move is Frenzy Plant, and I suppose I'll just teach that to Meganium, because it's better than Razor Leaf, so I might as well. Um, then if you have... Um, Typhlosion or Alligator, it's going to be like Blast Burn and Hydro Cannon, so yeah. Um, basically, just a super powerful attack that forces you to rest the next turn. Um, and if you talk to this lady, she will teach Draco Meteor to your Dragon-type Pokemon. But I don't have a Dragon-type Pokemon, so um, not for me. And this guy right here is the Move Relearner. If you have a Heart Scale, which you can get from using Rock Smash, um, he will teach an old move that you skipped or something to your Pokemon. You can also get moves that you wouldn't be able to learn leveling up, so pretty nice. Um, yeah, if you're looking for heart scales, they're kind of hard to get. You pretty much just have to use Rock Smash, and sometimes you'll find them. This guy is the move deleter. He will delete any move from your move set, including HM moves. So I'm going to do that right now and get rid of Surf on my Krabby. Um, that way I can give it Waterfall. And like I was saying earlier, if you're going to be using an HM Slave for Surf or Waterfall or whatever, um, you might want to like get rid of Surf on your Feraligator or Gyarados and give it Waterfall instead right here with the Move Deleter. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Um, and it makes that cool little jingling sound. Anyways, I think that's really all there is in Blackthorn. Um, there's a route south of here, which we can go through later. I don't think there's anything, anything in this house, and that's pretty much it. All there is left is the 8th and final gym, which is at the north side of town. Um, and I guess that's what we're doing next time, guys. The 8th gym is um, a dragon type, so you know it's going to be tough. So yeah, I'm going to figure out how the heck I'm going to take this gym on um, in between videos, and I guess I'll see you all next time. So yeah, 8th gym coming up in the next video. I'll see you all then. Stay tuned for more.